Welcome back from the Data Heroes Hub here at Summit Live. And I'm now with Adam Newell from Halio. Hi, Adam. Hi, how are you doing? Good, how are you? I'm so great. It's awesome to be here. Great, that's good to hear. Um, I think to start off with, can you share what Halio do and what your role is at Halio? Sure. So, uh, Halio is a smart glass company. We do uh, smart glass for corporate buildings and we're moving into residential. You can think of it like uh, transition lenses for your glasses, but using electricity and on a building. So I'm in charge of the cloud software division. Uh, I am also the architect of that product. We manage all of the fleet management, uh, monitoring and reporting for all of our devices in the field. That sounds really cool. And I think when most of us think about smart glass or glass in general, we don't really think about data as such. Uh, what's kind of the perspective that you and the rest of the company have on glass? Yeah, so I mean, you can be in a building with blinds, which sort of obstructs your view of the outdoors, or you could be in a building where the amount of light coming into the building is regulated by something internal to the glass itself. Our product is such that we don't really want you to think about the glass as much as being able to see unobstructed the world outside of it. That's really cool. And what, so what role does data play? How does data come out of smart glass? Can you describe that a bit? Yeah, so it's really interesting. Uh, as a cloud-enabled product, what we're really aiming to do is take how our, our clients interact with our glass and make the tinting of the glass more intelligent such that uh, it actually gets darker or gets lighter based on a user's behavior in addition to uh, cloud conditions or you know how bright the world outside is. So there's a lot of telemetry data and things of that nature that go into that to sort of inform how and when we tint that glass. So does that mean if I'm sitting in an office with smart glass that it will just kind of change and feel more like ambient, kind of an ambient setting rather than me thinking, oh, suddenly it's dark. Like, is that more right. transitional? Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. So our product, we will transition about 95% of the way from clear to dark in about three minutes. So um, it's, it's pretty quick, but you, it's not obstructive. So okay. it, it, it's not like uh, there's another product that's like crystals that it automatically switches to this gray tone. It's nothing like that. It's not quite as jarring. Okay, and what role does Snowflake play? How does that fit into this whole equation? Yeah, so we're currently using Snowflake as our data warehousing solution, and we're moving more into using it uh, as a machine learning platform. So as Snowpark for Python is becoming more and more available, it's in private preview right now, um, we're looking to leverage more of the built-in warehouse technology uh, within Snowflake to uh, bring all of our data reporting and machine learning algorithms into the same place. That's, that's very cool. And I, I can see that there's a lot of potential to, of course, then have all the data in one place, do more with it. Is that something your team is excited about? Oh, they're <laughs> super excited. Yeah, uh, I mean, the way that our, our system was originally architected, there's a lot of disparate systems and a lot of opportunities to improve and optimize for cost as well as performance. And Snowflake has really allowed us to do a lot more of that by putting everything in the same place and you can think about the cost optimizations in a single area versus having to worry about different components of your cloud system. Very cool. And um, here at Summit, is there something in particular you're excited about, you're looking forward to? Yeah, I mean, this is the first conference I've been at post-pandemic, so that's really important to me. But also, uh, I am really excited about more of the machine learning opportunities that we're going to see with all of the Anaconda packages being brought in and available for uh, Snowpark. Yeah, and what a great opportunity to network with right. a lot of people here as well. So if somebody would like to connect with you here or online, can they find you on LinkedIn and reach out? Yeah, absolutely. Find me on LinkedIn. Um, we're not hiring just this minute, but we will be in the second half of the year. So by all means, uh, reach out to me on LinkedIn. I'm always, I'm always looking at resume. Thank you for sharing that. or meet him here at Summit.